Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Okay y'all, so since Carlissa has nobody to film with, she decided to film with Blueface's friend d -Lok's mom. And it turns out that Carlissa and d -Lok's mom have been friends since before Blueface and d -Lok were born. d -Lok's mom is also the same friend that Carlissa fought and went to jail for. Blueface did tell the story that Carlissa beat up her own friend in front of all the kids and she ended up going to jail. In the past, Carlissa did reveal that she only fought that friend because she exposed that they were lesbians together. So Carlissa decided to bring d -Lok's mom on her show to clear some things up and they basically went down memory lane. This is also the friend that she met 50 Cent with. So d -Lok's mom actually confirms this. So here's a clip from Carlissa's bonus episode. Okay, so he quit. You He's going to tell the people man. that we were faggots anyway, so <laughs> you might as well tell them because my kids is fucked up in the head. First of all, they ain't nobody no faggot. First well, of all. Well, we ain't no more, but I'm saying he's... We, he, we wasn't... We, this part of the we wasn't never. <laughs> okay? <laughs> Shit. I'm just trying to tell you because I don't want you to be mad like when he start airing out all the laundry, girl. He doesn't... He can air he want to air that he's airing out exactly but he's airing out lies and truth so i'm pretty who sure listening to him? the whole internet who listening to him ass so i'm pretty sure the minute he thinks he can tell this one little thing that that's what i went to jail for that that's what he's gonna do he literally is on there saying that i robbed him i stole from him i did all this shit today i haven't responded so you should be proud of me uh -huh. i have not responded uh -huh. I had to work today. That's the only reason why I'm going to get out of here. Yeah. That is growth that you haven't responded to the bullshit. But how did I get dragged into the bullshit? I'm just telling you because in a minute he goes, what do you know? He's going to go for the juggler. All right, D-Lope, mama. Yeah, he's going to go all the way for the juggler. So. Fucking 30 years ago. Exactly. Well, for the record, we wasn't ever in no fucking relationship. <laughs> and she was my bestie. Okay, <laughs> so that's not how that was. <laughs> Damn, she ain't even claim me. No, <laughs> no. <laughs> Is it because my legs have all the <laughs> I guess I'm gonna need another show. Hmm? What did he say? I guess I'm gonna need another show. I said, I guess I'm gonna need another um, photo. Oh, uh, photo shit. <laughs> he told me to take him off. Get my pictures off your Y'all, y'all making emotional decisions and y'all reacting too quickly. Emotional decisions and and for Cali to just say, Dre, we gonna be all right? Like, really? You reading too much into that. For real? You think so? We gonna be all right? You reading too much into that. No excuses, what's that man? I would be more concerned with to just execute. Like, are y'all plotting? Y'all have a plan? Like, what you mean just execute? Bitch, what are we executing? This is mom that we're talking about here. Right, what does that mean? I don't know. Oh, maybe like just sell your book instead of giving it away for free, maybe? Don't know. Can't feed into everything. Can't feed into everything. David and, and John wasn't even born when we met. Doug was like two. Doug is 30. Damn. So, Why uh, you gotta be telling everybody how fucking old we are? <laughs> we all been a motherfucker. We all, it's been a long, it's been a long journey. It's been a long time. And so we started off as besties. And Watch then, what you say. The husbands are watching. <laughs> They already know. They, they don't, don't, they don't, know they don't know. You got to be shit. The fuck? You ain't never tell me. Watch. You're not supposed to keep seeing your husband. I wasn't even allowed to have you here today. <laughs> he like, the girl you used to, uh, I didn't say it. I didn't say it. The girl you used to, we used to just run the streets. We ran the streets. Girl, we too old to be lying. You too old. So what had happened was you too old. She didn't want that. With your freaking being. ass fucking wig. <laughs> Shut your mouth. I was being twenty. What was we? 21, 22? Okay, I'm just trying to get to the part where don't get to don't no stupid parts. For real. Yeah, but we're, too. it's hanging. But leave it all because <laughs> it's barely hanging. Just, just press on it a little he bit. He told him like something like um, why he was in a bad mood and he felt like he was, you know, getting some art or disrespecting him or something like that. So Dre took it and he he was respectful and he just left. You know, he was just coming by to say hey and just left and didn't say nothing of it. And now 
Oh, he did say he texted me and said I quit. So I the show. Yeah. So I took him off of. You have to back up. Yeah. That's exactly what happened. I ain't lying. <sighs> Does she need the microphone? Are we okay? Oh, yeah. Oh. Why? 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 He said he quit. First, Callie quit. I really, I'm not sure if it's because, you know, once Blue comes on and every, they feel like, oh, you know, they was the star at first, maybe. I don't know. You know. They, they was the star? Yeah. They was the star. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> I mean, they okay. technically, I mean, but what does okay. it matter? You the CEO on a project. You the, you the project it's, it's, owner. It's like, coming off the it's, ground. We working on something. We, we building on something. something. Let's all come in together and let's make it happen. Oh my gosh. No, the brother accuses their mother, <clears throat> Carlissa, of teaching him how to eat kitty cats. Lord Jesus. I officially have the worst fucking kids of the universe. <laughs> of the fucking universe of time. I can't. Are you serious? Now, how could I teach you that? How could you teach? What? He said that? How can you teach somebody to eat coochie? That's a. I'm gonna have to take five. <laughs> That's fucking ugly. Some of these people where we've been, how we've been, and what we've been doing with these motherfucking kids our whole goddamn life before I get mad. What have we been doing? Well, we both gonna get mad because that shit right there, that's fucking ugly. And he said that out of his mouth. Out of his page. We have done so much for these kids that I can't even believe. <clears throat> None of them is even in the situation that they're in right now. Like, I can't even believe it. Am I, am I, am I tripping? Dude, was we at everything? Girl, I missed that whole fucking part. I mean, I, I that was, I, I had no clue to that. What do we, do we, what do we, what do we do wrong? Oh, well, maybe not you, but what, what do we do wrong raising them? Was I not there every step of the way? You got to ask your kids that. Because kids always have a different perspective. We as, as parents and, and moms, we feel like we're doing X, Y, and Z. But on the other end, you know, there could have been some holes. There could have been some some opportunities where we missed out on. You got to ask your Bitch, kids. Bitch, we have parents. We have been through some hell. We have been, we have some holes. But these motherfucking kids today don't have no holes. There was no reason for him. There was no reason. I'm not going to say there's a reason. There was no reason, but some some things did slip through the cracks with us. Okay, like what? Tell me, cause I'm I'm fucking lost, or or maybe I wasn't there. You got to ask your kids. I don't know, but but I don't know, cause I don't know everything. I'm just saying, it's always two sides of the story. You know, it's our side, it's their side, and then it's the truth, and it lies somewhere in between. But even even us growing up as 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 children with our parents, you know, we have a different perspective of things with our parents as well. Our yeah, because we feel... really had fucking problems. Like we really had crack cocaine and prostitution and uh, molestation. We really really had problems. What problems? Have Doug, Andre, David, Callie, Ariel, what problems am I, am I missing? I personally feel like this is definitely a good friend for Carlissa to have. Because it's pretty clear that d mom is being 100% real with Carlissa. d mom made a valid point because a lot of the times parents remember what they remember about how they raise their kids meanwhile their child has a completely different perspective of their own childhood when do we ever beat them burn them leave them somewhere don't go pick them up who else raised them i need to know i'm like what what do you mean some holes you feel like you have some holes no i said you got to ask your kids because I'm saying, do you feel like you have I'm some holes? I'm quite sure I had some holes. You know, I did the best that I could. I mean, I had four at one time, so I was juggling a whole lot of things. But no, my kids can't really say that that I had holes um, because I was on top of their ass. My kids, you know, went to the left when, once they got 18. Once they got grown and and felt like they didn't have to listen to me, that's when they went. But when they were minors and still under my control, I don't. I don't think nobody, I think that's everybody's case. 
I mean, Andre was a lot to handle at 16. He was he was a lot to handle, but Johnny and John, I can pull out all the fucking report cards right now. I ain't never had nothing less than a 3.0. They was both <laughs> Division One approved, NCAA sealed. But you can't miss. But what? You is... can't miss no beats. My kids all took SATs. What beats? Private school. What? What could I miss? Yes, you didn't have no father. I didn't have no mom. I mean, I did, but I didn't have one like you know we gave them. My mom ain't never been to nothing for me in life. I got baptized and nobody even knew. I just came home with my hair wet and got a whooping because my hair was wet. But what I'm saying is you still can't minimize their side of the story. I, because a lot of things happen with the kids, your kids, my kids, that we didn't even know about. I'm not gonna lie, I really like D-Log's mom because she's making valid points. It's pretty clear that Carlissa is one of those parents that compares her kid's childhood to her traumatic childhood. And I personally feel like just because your kids weren't treated the way you were treated by your parents, that doesn't mean you didn't make any mistakes. And that doesn't mean you were a perfect parent just because you avoided doing some of the things that your parents did to you. And of course, I'm not bashing her because at the end of the day, I understand that it's hard to be a parent and most parents do the best that they can. But invalidating your child's memories and experiences from their childhood will not help your case at all, Carlissa. If anything, it will make the relationship between you and your kids worse. Get all my secrets out. So I have to tell Mrs. Sterling everything. Okay, well, we just got to uh, dispel the whole legal We are not going to be able to. Andre is literally probably already. We are not in a legal relationship. Well, we, well, what was it then? Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't I wrestle you no more. Mr. Sterling is going to divorce me. Y'all is acting up in here. Boy, yeah. you don't remember. You don't remember. Okay, so then what happened a couple times after that? You divorced mm -hmm. me. All the times. It wasn't the three times probably Carlissa. What you mean all the time? We wasn't having no... Everybody thought we was. Hey, that's true. Everybody thought we was, but we wasn't. No. Okay. I ain't, so, I ain't for the record, I ain't never seen her with JJ, never touched it, licked it, I ain't never none of that shit. She was into pleasing, so she wanted to please me. She lied. Don't, don't lie. Oh my gosh, Ingrid. That is how oh I am. Oh my gosh. I, I, I sing it with you. Uh, I, I hope you sing something. I ain't never seen it. She said I seen it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we're going to have to take all of this out because it's just going to, it's going to go with what Andre's trying to say and she's fucking lying. You can tell she's lying. She's been blinking and winking. I'm going to get a lie detector test. Get one. <laughs> get one. Because it's in my own. Oh, so it was just all me. Yeah, pretty much. You was in that experimental phase and you was, you know, you was doing things. I had never been into that. I had never been into that. So I kind of went along. The first time you, you were doing it after me. What are you talking about? The first time you tried, remember we had a fight. All down the stairs and everything. I didn't talk to you for how many months after that? You think now you lying. You didn't even got no stairs in the jungle. You was living on San Vicente. Girl, we had went out to the catch that night. So you just going to the gay club with me, huh? You got that right. <laughs> <laughs> Girl, you about to make you go this way. Go this way. Do it the right way. Bye. You have it the right okay, way. we probably can't say this because our sons are probably going to be embarrassed. Huh? Girl, if you can. Well, anyway, my I My kids didn't know nothing about it. Your kids told my kids. No, your friend, that's why we got into a fight and I went to jail told my son's friends, and then that's what happened. Yes or no? I didn't find out until recently, until years later, that, that she's the one that said something. I didn't know that. Yeah, we did. We, we figured that out. Yeah, we I was so grateful you called me and told me that. Yeah, I didn't know. That was pretty Because I didn't, I didn't know what had caused any of that. I was like, what the fuck are you tripping? Like, I would never, I would have took that shit to my grave. You think I'm holding my kids and hold that shit? I deny, deny, deny. No, 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 no. Don't know what you're talking about. Wasn't me. Must have been that other light skinned girl. That's why I'm like, so mad. Like, hey, you know, it's like around school, his friends and people were like, oh, your mom's gay, your mom's gay.
Two little girl plans. We all have made our the good thing is that in 2008 or 9, I rededicated my life to Christ and I'm just trying to be better at everything since then. I can attest to that. I, I see that. I see your growth. I see yours too. <laughs> I love you. Love you so much. <laughs> I feel like for the most part, Carlissa does take accountability for her actions. But at the same time, when her kids come to her with their childhood experiences and how she treated them and the things she has done to them, she attacks them instead of apologizing, validating them and moving forward. I feel like she needs to accept their reality of things instead of saying, I did the best that I can. I put you in private school. I did this and that. But at the end of the day, that's what mothers are supposed to do. And of course, not all kids get to go to private school because it is expensive. So obviously she did have to pay for that, but that was all her choice. It's pretty clear that it doesn't just take putting your kids in a private school for you to be a good parent. Obviously, all her kids see her in the same light and they all had their own personal experiences. But it's clear that when it comes to their mom, they're all on the same page. So instead of saying that all your kids are terrible and they are the problem, recognize that you are the common denominator and you are the problem because the sooner you do that the sooner you all can move on and possibly continue your show in peace and harmony anyway let me know what you guys think about this in the comment section down below don't forget to like subscribe and click the post notifications if you want to be notified every time i post a new video thanks for watching